Uh, spring has sprung. Basil and I are just enjoying some sunshine and it is time for a Garage Band Quick Jam. Let's go. So what is 3D Touch? Well, before we get into that, 3D Touch is only available on iPhones 6S and above. So your 6S, your 7, your 8, and your 10. And 3D Touch is the act of where you actually press with harder force and you get a different option. So let's give you the first example here with opening a GarageBand project. So you would hopefully know by now that if you tap on GarageBand, you will open your GarageBand application and then you can go ahead and start editing your project. But what you can also do is if you tap and then push hard on GarageBand, you'll notice here that we can go straight into creating a new track song, new live loops. We can open some of our most recent songs here. So if I tap on this song here, it's gonna open GarageBand and then open my most recent song. So a semi-useful kind of tip and something we can use here with 3D Touch. Now, what else can we do with 3D Touch? Well, we can actually use it to play some of our instruments. So let's go into the keyboard. We're gonna tap on more sounds and let's use the organ as an example here. Now this works on some keyboards, so you just need a little bit of trial and error. But if we tap a key on the keyboard, we get that, just a regular sound. If we tap and then push harder, look at the rotation dial here. You'll see the rotation will go to fast when I push harder and then back to slow as I release my finger. So the rotation control on this Hammond organ is being controlled by me pushing harder or softer with my finger while still holding down on the screen. So with the 3D touch, you can do that on a lot of your keyboard instruments. And even on some of our other touch instruments, we can use the different pressure sensitivity to control. So the vibrato down the bottom here on our Erhu, we can actually control by varying the amount of pressure that we put on the screen. And one more slightly useful way to use 3D Touch is to solo our instruments. So if we are playing a track, I'll play this track, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap and hold down on the particular track there, and you'll see that it will engage the solo for this guitar. And finally, we can use 3D Touch to actually solo one region of an instrument. So if I tap on one of these regions and hold down on this drum, it's just going to loop this drum pattern over and over again. And there you have it. Possibly not the most useful feature in all of GarageBand, but now you know. So if you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. We've got two more GarageBand Quick Jams linked down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right or head to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness. What do you think?